Hey guys, welcome back to a new Toronto weekly vlog. Today is Monday. I just finished my sixth day of work in a row. Six days is not really that much, especially considering I used when I used to work in retail, sometimes we would go like 13, 14 days of work in a row. So six days was like nothing, but since the lockdown, I haven't had to work that many days in a row without a break. So yeah, it's just been like pretty tiring. This morning I drove to Alicia's salon. She was putting on a I guess like you would call it a master class like a an education class for other hairstylists so she had sold tickets and people were coming in to yeah just like learn from her I guess so I was a model uh, you could tell my hair is freshly dyed it looks so good I'm so happy with what she did it's a lot blonder than it's been in a while so it's really fun there was one other model and Alicia wanted me to do her makeup for her after picture. So Alicia was taking before and after pictures to use for her marketing for future classes. And so she wanted the models to have their makeup done. So I obviously just did my own makeup and then I did the model's makeup when I first got there. And then I just sat there and got my hair done. So it's now three o'clock. I'm just getting home. I'm really looking forward to the next couple of days off and then I have a busy weekend next weekend again so things are rolling things are going well that lingering issue the issue that's been lingering in my work life for like over a month now uh is still with us but i'm trying to just deal with it yeah, we might get some results from it tomorrow we'll have to wait and see but yeah it's a new week let's go good morning you guys it's actually Thursday today. I did not vlog the last two days. I also did not work the last two days and I have to say the last week or so work has been the only thing like getting me through my days. It's like the only thing that could distract me from like this bullshit that was going on with my work situation that I've been like alluding to for so long and I'm sorry if that's annoying but I can't really talk about stuff like that on the internet especially when it's not resolved. Um, but guys, last night it was resolved. I can't even tell you how much of a relief it is the last two days like this situation that i had going on with a client <clears throat> it was like the only thing i could talk about it was the only thing i could think about it was the only thing <laughs> like it was just front of mind all the time and it was causing me so much stress i've had this pit of anxiety in my stomach for over a month and that whole time it has not been like solely because of this client but for the past probably three weeks it has been and yesterday it was finally resolved honestly it wasn't even really like their fault I mean it kind of was I I can't talk about it I'm sorry but it's over with and to celebrate this morning I got a real coffee <laughs> I haven't had a real coffee in over a month uh, because my anxiety was too high and the thought of drinking something that would increase that was too much for me so this is a double tall half sweet vanilla almond milk latte from starbucks my like go-to cozy warm drink it's like 10 degrees right now which is quite chilly probably the chilliest i've felt it so far this year but like beautiful i love fall weather hmm you know me i think the milk is a bit burnt but it gives it more flavor i have like five minutes to sit here and eat this bagel before i have to get on the road I'm driving to Waterloo today. It's like an hour and a half drive for a job. I'm doing makeup for family. Um, it's four sisters and a mom who are all attending a wedding today. So I'm gonna drive out there and do their makeup for them. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna show you guys some home updates because I have some house updates for you, which is very exciting. The thing that I was supposed to do over the last couple days that I just couldn't bring myself to do was film a video for yesterday, Wednesday. I upload every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and I was gonna film two videos on Wednesday, one for Wednesday and one for Friday. <laughs> but I was just so miserable like I felt like total garbage I was so stressed I was so anxious everything was like coming to a head yesterday and the thought of filming I just couldn't do it like I don't want to be I just felt like I couldn't be fake let's say that I'll see you guys after work for some house updates 
Okay, hi guys. It's uh, like 5.30 now. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Work went really well. It was just a very long day, but I am home and I'm gonna start to chill. I wanna give you guys a couple house updates. So update number one, very exciting. This corner is clean. So I don't know if you guys remember, but there was that big bookshelf right here and it was covered with stuff. I finally figured out a storage solution for in the den back here. So what I ended up doing was picking up a clothing rack. Hold on, let me fix the color. Oh, it fixed on its own, okay. So basically, I had all of this stuff in my drawers and I didn't like it. I prefer to hang my clothes as much as possible besides like workout stuff, pajamas, everything else I like to hang. And we just didn't have the closet space for it here. So we bought this dresser and I had filled it up with all my stuff. And so I was thinking about doing like a wardrobe in this area, but it's just so small and it's so tight in here that a wardrobe didn't seem realistic. So then I was kind of thinking of doing like a little buffet, like a credenza type of thing. But again, like it's just such a small tight space. And so I didn't really know what to do. And then it hit me that I could get one of these clothing racks from Ikea. So this was like 20 bucks or 40 bucks? No, I think 20 bucks. I don't know, really cheap. Uh, I put it together in like half an hour, hung up everything that was in this drawer, and now everything that was on that shelf that was in that corner is now put away out of sight, which is amazing, and I get to hang up my clothes. I also have tons more room on here, so I'm gonna get some more hangers and then hang up all my pants on here as well, and that'll give me an extra drawer in here, which is very exciting. So I'm super stoked about this. I'm so happy about this. It just feels so nice having this area clean and fresh and amazing, I'm so excited. And then the other thing is we were looking for some storage, a little storage solution for Will's office area here. So Will really wanted something that looked office-y, but I did not want anything like a straight up filing cabinet. So I feel like this was worked out really well, kind of like in between. This we got at Structube, so yeah. We'll put this together. It took a lot longer than half an hour. I think it took him like three hours. It was really hard. There was glue involved. There's also, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. Can you guys see that? It came all warped and wonky. Will had to like stick this handle in there. Um, and yeah, it's like damaged and warped and, but he had already spent like hours putting it together by the time he got to that point. So we were just like, screw it, we're keeping it. So yeah, we got his little organizer. We're still waiting on the standing desk from Ikea. It's been impossible to get our hands on, but that will be coming soon. And then everything will be more white. We'll lose this creamy element. And then we'll have the white kind of flowing through along this wall. So yeah, that's how everything is looking in here. Ignore my clean laundry on the couch there, but it's starting to finally feel like we've moved in, honestly. I also yesterday finished the fourth book in the uh, Court of Rose, Court of Thorns and Roses <laughs> series that I've been reading. Uh, look how much shorter this one is compared to the other ones that I was reading last week. I don't know what the deal was, but yeah, it's so tiny. It was actually quite boring. Um, and I took my time reading it because Jackie is lending me these and she had just started the fifth one and it's massive. So I wanted to give her time to read it and not feel like she had to rush to get it to me. So I just kind of read this before I went to bed all week and uh, yeah, it was pretty boring. So I'm looking forward to the next one. Hopefully it's supposed to be really good. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, just a couple little house updates for you all. I'm very excited. Feels good. Will has gone out for dinner with a friend. I stopped and ate on my way home. I was like shaking while I was driving because I was so hungry, so I had to stop and get food. So I'll probably just eat something chill later on and that'll be the rest of my day. Yesterday, after I was <laughs> celebrating, wrapping up that stressful part of my work, 
I went to the grocery store to get ingredients to make homemade pizza for me and Will for dinner and I picked up a bottle of red wine. So I drank a pretty good amount last night and I'm going to help myself to some, I hate that light. I'm gonna help myself to some this evening as well. <laughs> down to the gym and do 12 3 30. I haven't uh, worked out at all in the last week the week before I think I only went once and did 12 3 30 one time it was really hard for me to get myself to the gym when I was feeling so anxious I knew like, I know that it would make me feel so much better when I'm in that state <laughs> I just could not make myself to go I was booking appointments to go and then not going so I'm feeling so much better today and I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of a sweat on so yeah, let's head down there and do that. Okay, so because of COVID, they only have two treadmills functional in the gym down there right now, and they were both being used by people. So I kind of thought about doing like a different workout, but I'm only allowed an hour in the gym, and I only had half an hour left in my time. So instead, I'm gonna go for a walk outside, and that can be just a little warm up for getting back into exercise work for the week. <laughs> I forgot my watch too, I'm so sad. <laughs> o'clock I spent the afternoon filming filmed this look and an empties video so those will be coming up next week I also made some lunch and it's Friday normally I would be uploading a video today and I was thinking about you know trying to quickly edit one of the videos that I filmed today and get it up for you guys I feel like I could do it in time but I've been really wanting for a very long time now to get ahead of my uploads. I used to, like before the pandemic started, have my videos ready to go like weeks in advance and so things would just be uploading and I would be filming like weeks before the videos actually went up and it just makes everything a lot easier, especially when now that I'm working again and I have other things going on during the week. It takes the pressure off having to get my YouTube videos up and if I don't feel like filming like I did earlier this week, it wouldn't have been a big deal if I had videos pre-filmed and ready to go up. So I think what I'm gonna do instead of rushing to upload a video today is I'm gonna save the two videos that I filmed today and upload them next week so that the videos that I film next week can be for the week after and so on and for so forth. So I can start to kind of like pre-film and like build up content so that I am not like in this constant cycle of like filming, editing, and uploading in the, in the same day or like, you know, just the day before or whatever. So yeah, this vlog will be the only video going up this week and I don't love that. Like it's hard for me. It was hard for me to kind of like come to that decision but I think it's just better for me right now. So yeah, I'm gonna save all that for next week. Good morning. 
My camera is sitting here at my desk, so I assume this is the last place I've vlogged, and I don't like to vlog in the same place clip after clip, but you know, it seems that's what's going to happen right now. Uh, it is 12.30 on Saturday. I've been up since 4.45. <laughs> I haven't had to get up at a number that starts with four this year. I don't know if like ever I've had to get to a wedding that early. Um, I had to be in Oakville by six. And then next week on Thursday, I have another wedding at 5.45 in the morning. These people be crazy with their start time. So yeah, I was done work at 8.30 in the morning, drove home, got home for nine, and I was kind of thinking I was gonna take a nap because Courtney planned a little party, a little backyard barbecue party for Phil's birthday today. And I didn't honestly think I was gonna be able to go because I thought waking up at 4.30 in the morning and then going to work and coming home was going to destroy me. It's more like the waiting, the in-between part. So like I got home at nine and I thought, you know, I'm gonna fall asleep on the couch or something and then I'm gonna wake up in the early afternoon and just feel like shit. But I kind of kept myself awake and stopped myself from napping and I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna head over there, which is very exciting. I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of makeup. I was gonna do foundation and stuff because I have like a few pimples, but honestly like, Nah, nah, nah. We're just gonna do the basics here. Starting with wetting my sponge. <laughs> Be right back. So let's start with a little under eye corrector. Let's color correct these dark circles from my early morning. I already have a mascara and brow gel on. That was all I could get myself to do this morning. Well, I chose sleep over doing my makeup. Like a normal scene person would do. <laughs> Makeup Forever, self-setting. And then I'm just gonna use that on these little red breakouts as well. I'm supposed to start my period today, so. They're to be expected. Now I'm going to powder. Bronze. It's really cloudy and like gray outside right now, but I think it's supposed to get up to 30 degrees outside today, which is crazy because we've been having such cool weather recently. Ugh, I really need to clean my desk. In the next vlog, we're gonna do some cleaning together because I can't find anything these days. I don't know where anything is. Uh, okay, well, I was gonna use champagne pop because I've been loving it, but I don't see it anywhere so I'm just grabbing my little Dior highlighter palette here I'm gonna mix these two shades and then when I highlight the inner corner of my eye I'm just gonna use the brightest one I'm gonna do a little cream blush this is my little merit terracotta and then I, I'm just gonna go over my mascara and my brows again because when you powder your face, you end up with powder all over everything and now they just look gray instead of black. I used the Merit Tubing Mascara today. I really like it when I'm not really wearing any eye makeup. I feel like it just makes my lashes look really pretty. Let's just layer up these brows again. And then set with my setting spray. And then maybe just for good measure. Sorry, I, I have to leave my bangs like that until the setting spray dries on my face. Uh, let's just pop on some of this lip oil. I'm gonna use this in a couple weeks. Et voila, the finished look. I'm gonna actually wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We're gonna be back to three videos per week for the foreseeable future. I just needed this week off the three videos, but we're coming back strong next week. Thank you guys so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.